Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared three true-false questions and as usual I recommend you to pause video here, read the questions, choose the correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. And here is the first question. During meiosis uh, chromosome number is reduced through three rounds of cell division. Is it true or false? And uh, this is false because during meiosis chromosome number would be reduced through two rounds of cell division. First we start with a diploid cell that would double number of its chromosome and would be tetraploid. This cell would divide and would result in two diploid cells. Second round of um, cell reduction we are going to get four haploid cells. So as you see this is first round and this is second round. So next question. Uh, a zygote is polyploid structure formed at the fertilization. Is it true or false? And this is tricky question because many people know that zygote is formed by two gametes. So for example this is male gamete that we call sperm and this is a female gamete that is much larger that we call egg and when these two gametes would uh, merge they would form a zygote and uh, zygote then starts to divide and would develop into the embryo and we know that gametes are haploid or we can call them uh, monoploid and uh, when one set of chromosomes would join with another set of chromosomes we are going to get diploid organism. So two sets of chromosomes here but when we have two sets of chromosomes we do not call such organism polyploid. So it is obvious that this is two sets of chromosomes but we call polyploid organism that has more than two sets of chromosomes because in genetics there are specific names for the gametes we call them haploid and zygote is diploid but we do not call it uh, polyploid we call polyploid those organisms that has more than two sets of chromosomes so this is false and the last uh, statement non-disjunction sometimes result in zygote with an extra chromosome is it true or false and this is true and one of the example would be um, trisonomy 21 when during meiosis uh, this can happen during uh, first round of meiosis or second round of meiosis uh, we got uh, due to non-disjunction extra chromosome 21 so for example instead of uh, this gamete to be haploid it is haploid but chromosome 21 present in two copies but here for example this gamete would miss chromosome 21 so here we would have one extra chromosome here we would miss one chromosome and a normal number of chromosomes here so 23 and 23 and here we would have 22 and 24. Of course when such gamete would uh, merge with um, XL we would have one extra chromosome and we would have uh, instead of uh, 46 chromosomes in diploid organism we would have 47 chromosomes and we don't uh, normally see organism where one chromosome is missing because uh, each chromosome is very important and uh, some 
chromosomes can be present in extra copy, but this is absolutely necessary for all chromosomes to be present at least in two copies. Exclusion would be only uh, sex chromosomes. Uh, X chromosome can be present only in one copy uh, or uh, in gamete it can be completely uh, missing. If it is uh, female, her genotype can be, for example, X or so only one X chromosome can be, for example, uh, from the uh, father side, this can be uh, one chromosome missing, or from the mother side, it doesn't matter, but a diploid organism would miss one X chromosome. So this is going to be female with only one X chromosome. But uh, in other cases, with other uh, chromosomes, we would see that uh, such pregnancy uh, would result in stillbirth or self-abortion. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.